So, what I'm going to teach you is defense. So the best thing you do, say you're walking along with your sword and your scabbard. She's got mine. She's not giving it back. So I just pretend it's on your hip, you're walking along, and suddenly a group of 20 pirates come out of the local tavern looking for a fight, and they see you. What do you do? <laughs> Don't die, exactly. I like you. <laughs> that works as long as I can. Yes. I don't know. I'm in a fight. I want to slice people in the face. Yes. Take note. No slicing in the crotch. No! I will tell you what the first rule of sword play is. The first rule of sword play is do not die. We shall call this position one. You all saw how I love to count. One. So what do you think two is? Oh, very good. It's on the other side. It's your other leg. So, position one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. It's like a dance. One, and two, and one. Ow. <laughs> All right. You get stuck. And then one, and then two, and just move it. One, and two. It's like a dance. Two, and one, and two. I got the back one. Two, and one, and two, and one, and two. And this might be <laughs> Next position is position three. We have protected our legs, basically everything from our waist down. So now we have one, two, three, four, and you're drawing a box. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, two, three, one. <laughs> now you're just trying to confuse them. Now I'm them. trying to confuse them, yes. <laughs> four. Four, three, two, one. Again, go negative. Then it just gets confusing. Congratulations, you're protected this leg, this leg, and both of your arms, and with your arms also your body. What am I missing? The part the crew uses the least. What's that? Your head. Ah, my head. So, how do you protect your head? Very good. You just take your sword, and it's here, you hold it across your chest, and you put it right up. So, remember those numbers? One, two. Three, four, five. Very good. Your entire body is now protected. You have stayed alive. Yay. Now we rule. Yay. Yay. We have covered rule one. What is rule two? Run. Rule one is stay alive. What is the second rule of the sword? Run away. Yes. Fight. Fight. Or as I like to put it, get it. So, what I'm going to get you to do, my lovely students, is to form a single file line here in front of me. Step in here, Lieutenant. Hey, you have the advantage, you have the Come on, in. Step up. Now, what I'm going to get you to do, because we have this lovely street, which kind of goes this way, I'm going to get my lieutenant to stand right here. <laughs> the <laughs> lieutenant. Thank you. To stand I'm the Navy. I will stand right here. And what I will do is I will get two lines. Once you hit us, congratulations, you learned how to attack. You swung the sharp thing and you hit the other person. So, we are ready. One at a time, please. <laughs> I'm not used to fighting large groups. Just one at a time. So. No, he doesn't get his sword back until you've always declared crew. And you don't get declared crew until you beat me. Now, unfortunately, the rules state I'm not allowed to attack children, so I will only be defending. So, yes. It was nice knowing you. Thank you. We love you, Paul. So I'm currently in this area, not here or here. In this area, legs will count too. Are you ready, sir? All right, sword up. Go. Yes, this is why we give them folk swords. <laughs> Normally training goes with wood or something like that. Oh! Ow! Oh. Oh. That almost slid right up. Very good. I'm going to count that as a win, but he's going to finish me off. Finish me off. <laughs> ah. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> That's that thing, it's count. That's right. How do they get your right on? Two. And that one that comes after two. What is it? It's three! Come on! <laughs> Just try and get through. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I have a very small sword. Oh, he got me! Thanks for the hand, Go! Oh, 
Oh, 